This court is now in session. I'm with Judge Alex Ferrer presiding. Thank you. Please be seated. Mr. Myers, yes, you're sir. suing Mr. House because you say that you traded some music equipment with him for a guitar, and after getting the guitar, you realized it was a fake guitar, and you want him to refund the money that you paid him, the value of the items you traded with him. Yes, sir. Is that correct? Okay. Yes, Mr. House, you say that that's not true. You stand by the guitar, you sold him, and uh, in fact, you're counterclaiming. You say he defamed you, and you want $5,000 for slander and defamation. Absolutely. Okay. All right, Mr. Myers, tell me how this all started. How do you, how do you know Mr. House? Um, I had met Mr. House one time before uh, uh, through a Craig, Craigslist posting. Uh, he came along, we, we made a deal on a, on a guitar, everything was fine. What do you mean you made a deal on a guitar? Uh, I, he traded, I traded him one guitar for two guitars and an amp, which you, I did the same the thing the second time. Are you in the business of selling guitars or just personal equipment? No, sir, I, I'm a professional musician. I am not a tech-savvy person. I don't work on stuff. What, what, do you, what do you play? I play guitar, piano, trombone. And what kind of music? Country music. Country music, okay. He's okay. also a 20-year veteran of, of uh, music. And of How many years? Music. 35. 35, right. excuse me. 35, 35 years. Okay, so let me, let me get back to, uh, to how you guys met. So this, you met before the deal in question here. Yes, yes. we had okay. another deal. So tell me about the other deal. The other deal, um, I had a guitar listed on Craig's, Craigslist for sale. Mr. House contacted me about the guitar that was for sale. Um, and over several emails and I think one phone call, uh, we exchanged, you know, what we wanted for the trade and stuff like that. And in the emails, he quotes over and over and over again that it is indeed a Gibson Les Paul standard. With I have I have all kinds of evidence to now prove did, that. In this posting, sometimes on Craigslist, there's a picture of what you're selling. Right. So is there? Is I there sent a, pictures. Yes. You sent pictures of the guitar. Absolutely. Okay. So you got a chance to look at it before you bought it. Uh, yeah. So do you have the postings that uh, you two are talking about? Excuse Absolutely. Me? Okay. We both do. Both of you have them? Yes. All right. Let me let me see what you have. Just hand them to Mason. He'll bring it up to me. All right. Mason, would you bring Your over Honor, Mr. Yes. House's copies as well? So, this. all right. So now you're in the uh, deal number two, which is the subject of this case, and uh, you have some discussions. Okay. You have some discussions about uh, the guitar and agree to trade it how? You're going to get a guitar in exchange for what? Um, in exchange, I was to send him uh, two guitars and another amplifier just like the first one. So you guys reached an agreement, and tell me about the exchange of the property. Uh, he showed up, he had brought one young man with him, I'm not, I don't know if it's his son or a friend or whatever, and they came in and the first thing he said to me when they got out of the truck, well, my wife has broke down alongside the road and I need to do this quickly. Yes. I, that should have hit me. You, you left your wife stranded by yeah. the side of the road so you my could wife, buy, get a guitar truck My sale? wife was driving me to his house and we had a flat. We were like four blocks from there. I was in the vehicle on my way to his house when okay. the car had a flat. All right, so in any event, he gets there and brings the guitar. Brings the guitar. How's the exchange go? He came in and automatically started picking up the amp and the guitars, and I had hardly even looked at this thing. And I did look at it very closely with my, I, with my glasses on. I object on. to this. This is hearsay. Well, the statement he just made about me leaving my wife alongside the road, you told me you did. I absolutely did. But when he says it, it's a whole different story. How's that a different story? Because I want to break his face okay. for saying it. He, he's, he, you, you, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's already threatened hold with on. violence. You can see it. Sorry. Okay. I don't care if you guys hate each other, dislike each other, love each other. It makes no difference to me. I'm here to resolve a $1,300 or $1,400 claim that he's bringing and a $5,000 claim you're bringing. So don't stand in here and make threats against anybody. I'm not threatening Because you're going to lose your case real quick, okay? Let's get through the case, anyone. and then you guys don't ever have to talk again. Fair? Yes. Okay. All right, so now you do the chain exchange. You take off. He keeps uh, your equipment, takes yeah. off. You get your guitar. Right. What happens after that? Uh, I put it down, went back in the house after he left, and the next day I came out to play with it. I was real anxious to play it, you know? And I noticed there was a little bit of static in one of the tone pots. Well, that's not a big problem. A little shot of electronic cleaner, and it's all, all fixed. So I went ahead and took the cover off. The back of it? Okay. Took this cover off back here so I could spray cleaner on it. And as soon as I opened it up, I noticed that it's full of black, gooey paint and cheap plastic wires. I knew something was wrong. Coming up. Why is Norman so certain that Gregory ripped him off? You gave Gibson the serial I number Gibson on the guitar. 800 number and gave him the serial number off the headstock. I've, I've been doing this all my life. I don't buy junk. I, I called them. They said it's a 2000 
standard. That's all we can tell you. It was good enough for me. Did you contact Gibson? And later, does Judge Alex's expert witness agree with Norman? How are you, Ms. Huebner? I'm good, thank you. I know you're a busy woman, so I really appreciate <laughs> your taking time out of your day to help me with this uh, situation I find myself in. If you'd like to contact Judge Alex, call toll-free 1-800-854-7303 or log on to JudgeAlex.com. I work at the cable company, and I get to wear a hard hat. A question already. My mom says Time Warner Cable can't bundle cell phones. You mean wireless voice service? Uh, nobody does that. Mom says AT&T does, so... Call AT&T and get Uverse TV, Internet, and Home Phone for just $89 a month, our lowest bundle price ever. Get more bundle choices than Time Warner. You can even choose to add wireless voice. Switch today and get a total home DVR included. I, I bring TV to you. Mr. Roy. With Uverse TV, you can record up to four shows at once on a single DVR and play them back on any TV. Miss Jones has Uverse. Call and get our triple play for just $89 a month, our lowest price ever. Switch today and get a total home DVR included. And Uverse has more HD channels and cable, too. I want AT&T. Who wants to talk to a fireman? I do. No Choose the bundle that fits your life. ACC has changed my life in that now I am excited to get out of bed and go to work because it doesn't feel like work. I love what I do. The hands-on training that I got from ACC made my employers very happy. All the important stuff was ingrained already. If you're not excited about what you're doing, call ACC. Check them out, because now I have a purpose. Discover the career in you. Call American Career College at 1-800-905-3773. That's 1-800-905-3773. Imagine looking in the mirror and seeing a thinner, more confident, and happier you. How proud would you be? Call 1-800-GET-THIN and get started on a successful weight loss program today. Work directly with weight loss specialists that will customize a program to help you lose the weight. The best part is that your weight loss program may be covered by PPO Insurance. Call 1-800-GET-THIN now for a free PPO Insurance verification. Let your new life begin. Call 1-800-GET-THIN. Judge Alex is back with a case of Norman Myers, who's accusing Gregory House of ripping him off and sticking him with a fake guitar. He's suing for $1,500. Gregory House says he believes the guitar is authentic and is countersuing for $5,000 for defamation and slander. Where'd you get the guitar? I bought it from a young man off of Craigslist. How he long had, did you have it? I had it five days before he got it. So you never, you never used it in playing I with the band? I never had any intention of it, Your Honor. You were it's just flipping Gibson the guitar? Les Paul. I knew if I had it that someone would want it and I would get some other equipment. Okay. So you go ahead and you do the deal. You find out that there's a problem with it. What's your next communication? My next communication is I called Mr. House and told him that I, I discovered that it is a counterfeit guitar. Mr. House replied to me, uh, laugh, laughingly replied to me, well, uh, salt to somebody else and hung up on me, laughed at me. Was that your response? No, sir, it wasn't. That's a lie. I actually, uh, I said, did you call Gibson? Because when I bought it, I called Gibson, I ran the numbers on it, it came back as exactly as what the young man told me it was, which was a 2000 Gibson Les Paul standard. You gave Gibson the serial number Gibson, on the guitar? 800 number and gave him the serial number off the headstock. I've, I've been doing this all my life. I don't buy junk. I, t I called them, they said it's a 2000 Standard. That's all we can tell you. It was good enough for me. Have you ever come across a counterfeit guitar before? I have never even seen one before. Okay. Did you contact Gibson? Uh, yes, I did, and those are legitimate Gibson guitar numbers, serial numbers. But they're meaningless, meaningless if they're on a counterfeit guitar. Okay. All right. So now uh, the two of you, I assume, don't get any closer to a resolution in this case. Well, Absolutely not. Right. Uh, what is your counterclaim for $5,000? My counterclaim for $5,000 is... He called me on a Tuesday to let me know this information. I told him, point blank, as soon as he got done bending my ear about it, I said, I will return the stuff to you, no problem. I said, I can be there Sunday. 
in between Tuesday and Sunday, this man goes on Craigslist, calls me a thief, puts my name on Craigslist That's everywhere, That's a says I'm a fraud, that I ripped him off. It's you didn't right do there. that? He uh, po his postings yes, are on yes your I desk. Did. Yes, I did do that. Well, what, but he's which part's a lie? You, I'm getting to that. Monday, I call him from work and say, well, when can we get together and, and do, make the exchange? That's when he laughs and says, it's yours, sell it to somebody else. Okay, so you're saying that the reason you posted these things is because it's afterwards he changed his mind and said, "I'm not giving you anything back." Right, basically. Your Honor. Okay, I let me see what my mind as a result of those emails. I will not give him nothing. He told me already. For anything, I, give him I don't care who orders it. He's not getting nothing from me at all. You do not put my name on the internet and okay, say those uh, things about me. To no. be uh, to be really frank with you, that's not that's not. If you weren't that, such a shh, thieving convict. <laughs> Sorry. This is what you posted, okay? I was ripped off for $1,500 worth of equipment in a trade for a fake Gibson Les Paul. The person that ripped me off was Gregory House. If you've been ripped off by this guy, please let me know. We can work together to stop this scammer. Thanks. I was ripped off for $1,500 worth of equipment. He sought me out to defraud me. I now have the police involved. Fraud is fraud. Gregory House is the guy's name that ripped me off. I'm not worried about being sued. The truth is the truth. He's the one that will be in court soon. Well, why, did, why did you post that? Uh, just to stop everybody else from being ripped off, too. Coming up, is this guitar a fake or the real thing? Mason, if you'll please hand Miss Huebner the guitar. And is this a real Gibson Les Paul? In my opinion, it's... It's time for America to vote on today's case. Who do you think I should rule for, the plaintiff or the defendant? Call toll-free 1-800-282-2333 to vote now and find out how the rest of America votes. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-2333 now. Nighttime nasal congestion meant I couldn't breathe right. I couldn't sleep right. Next day took forever to get going. Night after night, I sat up, straight up, took a shower, or took a pill. Then I tried drug-free Breathe Right Advanced, and instantly, I breathed better. I slept better. It felt better. Thank you, Breathe Right. Breathe better, sleep better, feel better. <laughs> Try Breathe Right Advanced for free at breatheright.com. It's my right to breathe right. Isn't it your right, too? Oh, will you grab us some Yo Play? Sure, what flavor? Mm, one of each. Lemon burst. Mm. Cherry orchard. Blackberry harvest. My daughter's grabbing some Yo Play. Tina colada. Orange crap. I can't imagine where she is. Strawberry cheesecake. Clean up in aisle eight. Founder. Yo Play original. 25 flavors for you to love. It is so good. On the next How I Met Your Mother. Barney, I, I got your letter. Dad? Barney's father shows up out of the blue. Think of the pickup plays we can run as a father-son duo. The women? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> on the next How I Met Your Mother. Tonight at 7 on My 13. Titan offers great auto insurance for as little as a dollar a day. Call 1-800-TIGHTEN-UP for a quote today. That's 1-800-TIGHTEN-UP. Titan offers great auto insurance for as little as a dollar a day. Call 1-800-TIGHTEN-UP for a quote today. That's 1-800-TIGHTEN-UP. Sure, it's fun updating my own status, but what I needed more was a career. As a diagnostic medical sonographer, I work with new parents and have an important job keeping people informed. Career Colleges of America can help you start your new career with a variety of different programs. Now I've got really great news to share. I love being the one to tell them, it's a boy. Where your future begins today at CCA. If you or a loved one suffered paralysis, amputation, head injury, or death due to an auto, big rig, explosion, construction, or work accident, call us now. We have the experienced attorneys and resources to win your case. We have recovered over a billion dollars for our clients and have a 91% success rate. Call us now at 1-800-333-0000. Trust the law offices of Larry H. Parker to handle your serious injury case. We'll fight for you. Hablamos Español. 
Hey, my LA buddy, Seymour here. We have a totally new, totally awesome Facebook page. So make sure you like it. Look for Seymour My 13 and check out all the cool stuff, okay? This week on Judge Alex, are these neighbors fighting over the boy next door? One thing that I've always learned here is it always ends up being about a guy. And she tried to help her sister-in-law escape. You did the right thing. You're in an abusive relationship. There's no shame in getting out of that. Judge Alex. If you'd like to contact Judge Alex, call toll-free 1-800-854-7303 or log on to JudgeAlex.com. Judge Alex is back with a case of Norman Myers, who's suing for $1,500, claiming the guitar Gregory House traded him is a fake. Gregory says he called the manufacturer and was told the guitar is the real thing. He's countersuing for $5,000 for defamation and slander, claiming Norman outed him as a thief on the internet. So here we are. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert, and apparently, Neither are you guys. So, I did contact an expert. Her name is Jessica Hubner. She's a manager and a vintage instrument buyer and appraiser at McCabe's Guitar Shop in Los Angeles. She's got 20 years of experience in vintage guitar collecting. She worked as a guitar technical advisor for major motion pictures with Cameron Crowe, Diane Keaton, Jim Carrey. And she tells me it takes one second to identify a counterfeit guitar. So, we're gonna go over this with her. Let's bring her in, please. Let's right over there, please. How are you, Ms. Hubner? I'm good, thank you. I know you're a busy woman, so I really appreciate <laughs> your taking time out of your day to help me with this uh, situation I find myself in. Um, I appreciate your expertise. And we, uh, I know you know about the case. Um, we briefed you on that, and I also had somebody, my clerk, give you the guitar to examine before we came out here. So, Mason, if you'll please hand Ms. Huebner the guitar. And does it really take one second to identify? Well, for me. <laughs> yeah, okay. For me, uh, it could take a lifetime. The was suspicious. Uh, solid mahogany has a, a very dense weight. This, I guess let's start with, yeah. is this a real Gibson Les Paul? In my opinion, it's a counterfeit and it's not a good counterfeit. All right, so um, if you don't mind, can I come down there? Yes. I I'd like you to point out to me. Sure. So I can make this a learning experience for myself. Okay. Me too. Uh, one glaring aspect is the headstock is cut wrong. Uh, there's a little swoop that goes up here. Yes. And, it, and it's rounded over there. That wouldn't be the case whatsoever. Um, the maple cap that would normally be on a real Gibson, it would be real maple. This looks like a photograph under really? the finish to me. Yeah, it does not look like real wood on the top. Also the wood, mahogany is a reddish color. This looks too orangey yellow, um, which it could, you know, could go either way. The, what about these? Because the only thing the, that stands out to me. Well, tuners can be changed. Uh -huh. These are not uh, Gibson quality. They're they're cheap import. So, but the serial number is real. Yeah, it it would be a 2000 Les Paul if it were a real Les Paul. But okay. the other aspect is this custom shop logo is a little crooked, and. Um, if it were a custom shop guitar, it would say CS and the serial number, usually. Okay. So, having examined the guitar, um, what would you say that guitar is actually worth? I wouldn't buy it for our store, and I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't want it if you gave it to me. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. Maybe a hundred dollars for a kid. Mason, if you don't mind putting yes. the guitar back on the stand, so Miss Hubner doesn't have to keep holding it. Um, okay. Key question. Would a musician know that that's a fake guitar? Lots of musicians that I've known over the years are, don't know. They're not experts in the fine details of certain instruments. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. Ms. Hubner, thank you so much. You've been very thank helpful you. in this case. All I right. appreciate it. Coming up, how will Judge Alex handle a tough decision? Now we have a problem, don't we? What I clearly heard is, yes, it's a counterfeit guitar, right. but he may not have known it was. It's time for America to vote on today's case. Who do you think I should rule for, the plaintiff or the defendant? Call toll-free 1-800-282-2333 to vote now and find out how the rest of America votes. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-2333 now. 
Turn off the heat. Get back to sleep. Midnight for menopause. The only one to take even the middle of the night to help relieve hot flashes and night sweats. Get back to a deep, restful sleep fast. Wake alert. Drug-free, not habit forming. Midnight for menopause. Hershey's Bliss. One square inch of incredibly smooth, rich chocolate. One square inch of joy. Fun. Indulgence. One square inch of bliss. Hershey's Bliss. My name is Jane, and I've got osteoporosis. But I'm an on-the-go woman. I've been active all my life. That's why I'm excited about Reclast. It's the once-a-year IV osteoporosis treatment. Reclast helps to re-strengthen my bones to help make them resistant to fracture. And with Reclast, well, no other osteoporosis treatment is approved to help protect in more places. Hips, spine, even other bones. You should not take Reclast if you're on Zometa, have low blood calcium or kidney problems, or you're pregnant, plan to become pregnant, or are nursing. Take calcium and vitamin D daily. Tell your doctor if you develop severe muscle, bone, or joint pain. If you have dental problems, as jawbone problems have been reported, or if you develop new or unusual pain in your hip, groin, or thigh. The most common side effects include flu-like symptoms, fever, muscle or joint pain, headache, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If you have questions about your current treatment, ask your doctor about Reclast. Hi, this is Judge Alex. We'd like to invite you and your friends to visit us at judgealex.com where you can join the conversation on Facebook. We'll see you there. I'm very passionate about the work I do. Um, I, I love every minute of it. Ever since I was eight years old, I've always been interested in electronics. I actually break the computer when I was younger and then uh, try to get it fixed before my mom came home. So that way, uh, she, did, she didn't find out that I messed up the computer in the first place. I realized that's what I wanted to do and want to pursue my career. So I, uh, I continued down that path. And then actually setting a goal for myself and then achieving that goal, it, I just feel like it's another check mark, but it's a big check mark. And it, it feels so good to actually be in the career in the field that I'm interested in. It's electronics, it's what I love and it's what I'm passionate about, and that's where I belong. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-ITT-TECH or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-ITT-TECH. Injured in an auto accident? You need to find the right lawyer right away. I'm Len Jacoby. The Jacoby and Myers Injury Lawyers will make sure you get fair and full compensation for your injuries. And we've been doing that for over 40 years. You'll see an experienced personal injury lawyer and you'll pay no attorney's fees until you receive your compensation. When it's time to call a lawyer, call us at Jacoby and Myers. We've been on your side for over 40 years. Jacoby and Myers, it's about time. Judge Alex is back with a case of Norman Myers, who claims the guitar he traded for is a fake. He's suing for $1,500. Gregory House says Norman posted derogatory statements about him on the internet and tarnished his reputation. He's countersuing for $5,000 for defamation and slander. Now we have a problem, don't we? What I clearly heard is, yes, it is. it's a counterfeit guitar, Right but he may not have known it was, okay? But before I call him a thief, I am a little more cautious, okay? And believe me, I've called plenty of people thieves in my courtroom, plenty, okay? But I know it when I do it. You, however, went ahead and posted slanderous things on the internet, calling him a thief. Not, he sold me a counterfeit guitar. You could have done that, so now I've got a problem here. Because you are entitled to a refund of the equipment, the value of the equipment, which you have valued at $1,400 plus court cost, okay? So it comes out actually to $1,500, okay? So you're entitled to that. But now he's got a claim. So now these postings you said were taken down. You had to contact Craigslist. I had to contact Craigslist. Right. So they're not up anymore, no. right? Okay. How long were they up? They were up for uh, quite a while till they investigated it. I'm going to say 10 days, probably. 10 days, okay. Um, now, also, you're, may, may I say something, Your Honor? Yes, sir. Uh, in one of those papers that's sitting before you there, was it just me that he slandered? It was also my wife. I've had to block his, my phone number. He told a police officer in a courtroom, I tried to attack him, 
this police officer calls me on my cell phone on my way home from court and goes, we need to talk to you about this incident. I'm like, what are you who is this? This is uh, one of the prior continuances before yes, we sir, tried right. the case. And it, and it How is did you get my it cell number? Because this gentleman hangs on to it religiously, just like he does everything else. I had to block him off Twitter in July. This is months after the thing. He won't okay. let it go. Let me, let me get to the bottom line, because as, as, as much as you are emotional about things that he said about your wife and, and stuff like that, uh, a lot of that is not actionable. It's personal, but it's not actionable. So here's where, we're, here's where we are. Mr. Myers, you're not getting the guitar back. You can't get it back, OK? Because it is counterfeit, right? OK? So that guitar has got to go to Gibson, OK? So this is what we're going to do. There's not going to be a set off on this case. You're in, you are entitled to a refund of what you paid for that guitar. Because whether you knew it or not, you sold him a counterfeit guitar. I'm going to give Mr. House a $2,000 judgment. And that's going to be because you took the law into your own hands. Since you accused him of theft, that is called slander per se. He doesn't have to prove actual damages for me to give him something. So it's going to be a judgment of $2,000 for the defendant on the slander, $1,500 judgment for the plaintiff. Don't do it again, and be careful what you sell. All rise. John Jowers has ruled in favor of the plaintiff and has ordered the defendant to pay him $1,500. The judge has also ruled in favor of the defendant and has ordered the plaintiff to pay him $2,000 on his countersuit. I am happy with the judge's decision. I, I didn't know the thing was a fake. You know, the guy would have handled it differently. We could have took care of it a long time ago. It was all right. Those uh, postings that I had on Craigslist weren't there for 10 days or now like that. But, oh, well, it's the judge's uh, verdict, so there it is. If you've been waiting for once-in-a-lifetime savings on a new RV, your wait is over. The Southern California RV Show.